Hello, in this short tutorial I'm just going to go through how you set up your DAW, in this case Cubase, to work with Divisimate, a quick way of setting up polyphonic articulations uh, in your orchestral arrangements. So I've got open on the left hand side of my screen Cubase and I've inserted five virtual instruments, a violin one and two, viola, uh, cello and double bass from the Spitfire audio chamber strings. So if I just play them at the moment, we have a violin one, violin two, a viola, a cello, and a bass. But what you can do with Divisimate is by playing a polyphonic part, you can divide up each of those individual notes to individual MIDI outputs and use them in your DAW. So if we move over onto the right hand side into Divisimate, we're going to set up a three part polyphonic harmony. And we're going to set the highest note to output number one, the second highest note to output number two, the third highest note to output number three. This means our highest note will play from channel one or output one, the next note output two, and the third note output three. I'm also going to send the third note to output four, and I'm going to drop it down an octave. In this way, I can engage first and second violins, viola, and my celli. So this is on one, two, three, and four. However, I've not set this up in Cubase, so if we go to the left-hand side of the screen and choose Violin 1, in the MIDI input selector, you want to choose Divisimate Port 1, because that's where the violin needs to go. For Violin 2, you choose Divisimate Port 2. For Viola, Divisimate Port 3. And finally, our cello goes to Divisimate Port 4. Because we're going to need it in a minute, I'm going to send my double bass to Divisimate port 5. Then you record enable all of these tracks. And now when you play your polyphonic part in Divisimate, it will divide these up in Cubase. So let's just watch that play now. And there we are, our four parts are playing. If I just play the lower note, It plays both viola and violin cello because that is what it is set to. The lowest note is set to play these two bottom parts. So that's as simple as it is. If I now start recording in Cubase and I play some chords, All my notes are nicely divided up within Cubase and you can see it's recorded the individual parts quite nicely. But what about this double bass? I want it to play some low notes but I want it to be separate from all the other instruments. I could just set it up so that it appears on channel 5 as the third note but I'm going to activate the low button and bring that all the way up so it's about here and any note I play lower than there will automatically then get sent to the double bass. So now if I play again, any note I play below middle C will get sent only to the double bass exclusively. So let's have a little listen. There's your double bass. And now And it does it all for you. So that's a very quick way of setting up Divisimate to work with your DAW. It's worth remembering you've got 32 parts to play with so you can set out any of these and when you've found your favorite setting for the channels and tracks that you're using you can save this preset on your hard disk and come back and recall it later.